Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog video. In the last video I showed you guys what the anime room looked like at the time and now today is the day that I'm going to take everything out of the anime room that's not anime related and pretty much store it in this ottoman behind me here if you can see that. Uh, but the whole room is going to be gutted and reorganized and I'm actually really excited, so let's get that started. So if you watched my last video, you would have seen that this room's way too packed at the moment. I'm pretty much at capacity with space. Um, but the reason that is, is behind the boxes up on the top shelves, there's a bunch of video game related stuff. Um, like all sorts of stuff up there. Stuff that's been there for so long, I've pretty much forgotten what is there. The whole back layer of the top shelf is like, PS1 games and like old console boxes and stuff like that. So that's all going to come down and be moved out into the ottoman. I'm going to start with these shelves behind me. The thing about these shelves is they have a bunch of DVDs in there that I either have duplicates of or that I'm going to buy later on in a bigger set. So there's a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays in here that I actually want to get rid of. All of those DVDs are pretty much taking up space that could be better used for something else. Um, so all of these DVDs and Blu-rays I'm going to take out, reorganize, um, get all the ones I want to sell together, and then put them back in. So that's going to be a massive task. Let's get started with that. Are we good? Okay, so now you can see all the shelves behind me are cleared and I have to say it looks really bizarre seeing them empty. There was some stuff in there like I didn't even realize I had that much. Some of the stuff I'd forgotten I'd bought. Um, I'll show you guys quickly in my room tour I wasn't able to show these boxes at the back here. So I'll quickly show you guys now. I think I got up to Vampire Knight so there's Witch Hunter Robin behind that. XXX Holic with the tag and also Yuki Kaze. Uh, with the tag collector's art boxes. But now that those are all out, I'm going to be going up through these ones I have stacked up here and taking them out also. Uh, but let me just quickly give you guys a look at how many I took out of those shelves. All of these DVDs and Blu-rays sitting here is what came out of those shelves, just those rectangular shelves. And I'm actually surprised I was able to fit this many in myself, but you know, this gives you guys an actual look at uh, how big my collection is. So yeah, everything that's not an art box is going to come out. I'm going to sort through them, alphabetize them before I re-put them back in the shelves and uh, sort out a pile of everything I want to get rid of. There's quite a few like volumes of stuff I want to get rid of and you know, a fair few duplicates. Like there might only be 20 or 30 DVDs, but that's still 20 or 30 spaces I could have for new DVDs coming into the collection.
Thanks, baby. Okay, so I just separated all of the DVDs from the Blu-rays here, and I'm about to go through them and alphabeticalize them. I know, massive task, right? Um, but just a quick decision I made, all of these limited edition slipcases, I'm going to separate them and put them up with the art boxes. A couple of reasons is, one, it'll free up space, and two, I don't really like stacking them on top of things or with things on top of them. I think they're really cool and they deserve to have their own little space on the shelf. But apart from that, here I am in front of all of my anime DVD collection, and let's get started alphabeticalizing them. Okay, before these DVDs go in, I'm going to give the shelves a quick wipe, nothing crazy. Let's do that now. Okay, here is all the DVDs finalized, and now they have to go back into the shelving. Oh my god, my voice. That is all the DVDs in the shelf now, and I got down to about the letter S, so I'm pretty happy with what I got in. Um, I think in places I actually got more than what I had in last time. Uh, so in terms of the rest, so these three piles here are the stack of DVDs I haven't got in, and in terms of where they're going to go, I could put them back into this brown shelf, but I actually want to leave this shelf free for future VHS pickups and have it pretty much exclusive to that and also put these Neon Genesis Evangelion tapes back in there. But what I'm basically going to do is, this is the entrance to the anime room, and if I close this door, where this wall is here, I'm going to be putting another shelf there, just outside the anime room entrance, and all of the future DVDs I pick up, in slim packs anyway, are going to fill up that shelf there, which will be nice for uh, new space for everything else I pick up. But apart from that, I've spent the whole day taking DVDs out of the anime room, organizing them, alphabeticalizing them, putting them back in. It's been a massive workload. And what I want to do with the rest of the night is do the same for these Blu-rays. I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll have them ready to go tomorrow in the next morning. So this video is going to continue tomorrow. See you then.
Okay, it's the next morning right now. I'm back. I've alphabeticalized all of those Blu-rays last night, so I'm ready to put them in the shelves and get back to work. Let's do it. Stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Alright, so we're back up to scratch with where it was and that took a lot longer than I thought it would but I'm glad I did it to that extent and didn't skip out on anything um, That's everything back in there now and out here is the all the DVDs that I'm going to be the DVDs and the Blu-rays, I should say, that I'm going to be selling. I will make a notice on my YouTube channel when I'm going to be selling these. There's over 50 DVDs and Blu-rays there. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly when I'll be selling them, but that'll happen sometime soon. Alright, we're still rolling. Yep. Just here are some cards I recently found at my dad's house. Uh, these were cards from when I was like six or seven years old. They're birthday cards and it just was funny to me, like not much has actually changed. And it was really cool that I could find these and keep these. This is a Pokemon one, Dragon Ball Z one uh, with Goku, and then another Dragon Ball Z one with Goku. It's awesome. All right, the next step, and this is gonna be a big one, all of this stuff up the top layer here has to come down, and the stuff behind it has to be brought out into the bedroom and be putting that ottoman out there. Before I can do that, I have to go out and clean up the ottoman, so let's do that now. So this is the extension to the couch out in the lounge room, and if we open it up, as you can see, there's just like miscellaneous things in here and probably I don't need to keep most of it. I can get rid of it uh, or find another home for the rest of it. <sighs> I actually found these in here. These are some old Japanese workbooks called Obento um, issues one, two, three. And these used to be my sisters and I was actually uh, using these to learn like Japanese. Here's my work folder type thing. And I have another one of those, but uh, you know, really funny, I might actually read through them and try to work out the sheets. So, a heap of this stuff's gonna go in the bin and the rest of it's gonna be spread throughout the house. So, I'm magically gonna do that now and then get on to cleaning the ottoman. <laughs> okay, now that that's cleaned up, it's looking good as new. Let's get into the anime room and get down that top shelf. So, here's kind of your first look at what is behind the layer of boxes. There's like all video game stuff and everything that is here needs to come out and be put in that ottoman. I hope we can hold it all. There's only one way to find out. There's all sorts of stuff in here. That's my old camera box as well as my... Oh, actually, that might be... Yeah, that's my current camera box. Uh, I think there's, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there. I don't know what's in that brown sack. <laughs> but, like, in this bag... Yeah, okay, there you go. There's, like, Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Oh, actually, I think I made a video on this on the channel, like, ages ago. There's some Guitar Hero stuff. Old consoles. Uh, not boxed, you know, PS2, N64, original Xbox. The Wii stand, some old Madman boxes that I've kept with. They've probably got something in them, probably PS1 games. And I think there's some other stuff at the back there, video games. So yeah, I don't think the Ottoman's going to hold all of it, but we'll see how we go. Because ideally, this whole back section I would use for my figure boxes um, to get them away from being stacked there so I could have more room for figures. But yeah, we'll see how we go. <laughs> this ottoman's not gonna hold fuck all! Two hours later. Alright, long story short, I managed to get all of the consoles in there, all of the console boxes, all of the Guitar Hero stuff, my old camera. Let me just show you guys what I've been dealing with. So, underneath these, I don't want to move it too much because it's packed to the brim. There's the Xbox, the SNES, 
Uh, the Wii's in there, the PS2, both slim and fat models, um, Nintendo 64, all of the boxes, GameCube, bongo drums, all the Guitar Hero stuff, a Wii U zapper. I didn't get everything in there unfortunately, but the rest of it I have a plan for. Okay, I've got this bag and this sack here. Everyone needs a sack in their life. But this is just filled with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So they can all pretty much come out and be put into a folder or something. Gets rid of that. We have a couple of figures in here that are broken and need repair. And the rest is like old video game controllers. So that is gonna go into the drawers and that'll get rid of this blue thing. You know something is so old when the elastic bands holding them together look like this. Alrighty, look how much more space is up here. That's so exciting. That room can now be filled up with more of these anime box sets, figure boxes, anything I really want to put up there, now I have the space. And that was the plan of this whole move. Um, and that was the intention, so that's good. The next thing that's going to happen, that Madman box is empty and I have a couple more down below me. Some of the figure boxes are going to go inside of them and all of the figure boxes are going to line the back wall that don't fit with them. And then I'm going to put these figures in box in front of them. And then finally on the side here, all of these collector's art boxes sitting on top are going to start a layer up here. And that will be the final move of this video. So I know it's probably been a long video, so let's get that done. The rest is just going to be little stuff I can, you know, finick here and there. So I'm excited to finally get this Everything done. Gets a rose. Tell them I might be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to Alright, so that is all of the boxes, believe it or not. And look how neatly they're stacked along the back line. Um, that gives me so much more room for like future figure pickups to put boxes here. And also, uh, just collector's boxes stretching around this top layer, which has kind of always been a goal of mine. But I've, as I said, I've just always used this space for other things, and it's really exciting. That I guess I'm getting better at using space and like I can't believe how much space I've freed up like they're all back along that line but then on this side like once these are out of the way let me tilt it a bit more once these figures here are out of the way this whole side will be free like there's nothing that has to go there and that's really exciting I can put anything I want up there to be honest but um, I'm gonna keep this room anime only for the most part. There's a tiny amount of PS1 games that I couldn't get anywhere else. But apart from that, everything in here is anime and manga dedicated. And that's really exciting! So now all I have to do is put the collector's boxes and the figures and then I'm done! I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to eat up track like I'm seated in a restaurant. Yeah. If you had swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt yeah. We are hating because you want Shining like it's neon Drop like kings of Leon Shooting stars across the galaxy I stand out so don't be mad at me Infiltrate, I'm with my strategy When I turn up, then my riches have to leave Shooting stars across the galaxy I stand out so don't be mad at me Yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot, 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 shoot,
Alrighty guys, here is the final product of everything. I've put these couple of big limited editions up there, as well as the Dragon Ball Z Rock the Dragon set. And here's all of the art boxes. I know I probably should have alphabeticalized them, but to be honest, I was just way too excited to get them up. It really feels good to change things up every once in a while. I just felt like this room was getting kind of stagnant. And the boxes that were down there, look how much space they've cleared up uh, for future figures. It felt like they were there for the longest time, but you know, looking at it now, it, it seems really full, but there is so much space. Like behind all those art boxes, there's like a good foot and a half of just like space all the way along. So that's really excited. I know this video has probably gone on really long, but uh, oh, that little Inuyasha box has to go up there. That'll probably, that'll probably finish off the corner, honestly. But um, apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, leave a like if you did. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs from now on, either on the anime room or something video game related. Probably mostly the anime room, uh, but just anything in my life that I'm doing. I release a lot of new anime and video game content every single week, so think about sticking around. And until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy! <laughs>